Welcome to Gorilla Shop. My name is Mike Morris, and today I'm going to be showing you my process for reverse etching superconductor. <laughs> Superconductor is basically a round cylinder of copper with titanium rods going through it that create a pattern. So here's what you're going to need to do this. You're going to need 91% isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need a mason jar or some sort of small glass container. You're going to need latex gloves. You're also going to need a coffee mug warmer. This one has three settings and I use the highest one. And now for the main ingredient, you're going to need some rust stain remover by Wink. Now I've had a problem finding this in any kind of store around me, so I buy mine through Amazon. I've included a direct link to the rust stain remover down below along with a direct link to all the other items I'm using in this tutorial. And last but not least, you're going to need a piece of superconductor. I usually buy mine from a place called Copper Cloud, and I've included that link also down below. But sometimes you can find a uh, superconductor on eBay, and you can definitely find it on Etsy. Now you're also going to want to make sure that your superconductor is ready to etch. This piece is sanded to 1000 grit and then I buffed it a little bit. So it's not mirror polished, but it is nice and smooth. Now it's time to crack out the coffee mug warmer. Make sure to place something under your workspace like a cardboard, just in case you drip some chemicals. Turn the pad on to get the heat started. Use the high setting. Place glass container on the heating pad and pour in the Winks Rust Stain Remover. Use enough to cover your superconductor, plus a little more. This stuff dissipates pretty fast. Okay, so while that heats up, let's prepare our superconductor by giving it a good alcohol rub down. Put on the latex rubber gloves. Once you clean your superconductor, you don't want to handle it with your bare hands until it's fully etched the way you want it. Now the fun part. Carefully place your superconductor in the etching bath. In a few minutes, you'll see the rust stain remover doing its thing. That's the etching process there. The hydrofluoric acid working on the titanium causing it to fizz and bubble. I etched this piece for a total of four hours. I waited two hours, then flipped it over. You may need to add more rust stain remover to cover your piece. Keep an eye on it. Like I said, this stuff dissipates quickly. Also, check your heater element. Some of them come with an automatic shutoff. For a super deep etch, just keep it in the etch longer but flip it over every few hours or so. I've etched a superconductor for several days before. It just depends on how deep you want the rods to be. Once you're satisfied with the look, rinse your superconductor under cold water. Don't forget to use your gloves. Now a freshly etched piece of superconductor will look super black, like velvet black titanium dots. I always give my superconductor a quick buff. Stay tuned for a Gorilla Shop tutorial explaining how to turn an inexpensive grinder into a buffing station. So now would be a good time to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So here's the final result. Reverse etched superconductor. It's not as hard as it might sound. Why don't you give it a try? Please leave comments and questions down below. Stay tuned for more tutorials. And thanks for joining me in the Gorilla Shop.